Okay, one of the things that I wanted to do real quick is show you how easy it is to make custom overlays and frames with the right software. Now, the software I'm going to be using today is After Effects, Adobe After Effects. If you don't have After Effects, then they do like a monthly subscription, so the software is not super expensive. Um, but hopefully, maybe this tutorial will show you just how easy it is to create your own overlays inside that software. I cannot recommend it more highly enough. Without further ado, what we're going to do is create a frame, a gradient animated frame for this particular webcam right here, my rubbish C270 webcam. Can you see that in OBS Studio? I want to give it a moving animated frame. So we're going to be creating that inside After Effects, Adobe After Effects. And I'm going to talk you through step by step what we're going to do to create that frame. To start with, make sure that your composition is set to 1280 by 720, a frame rate of 30, and a duration of 4 seconds. This can be longer, but for the sake of today's tutorial, we're going to keep it down at 4 seconds. We're going to press OK. I'm then going to click on the zoom option down here and just keep make sure it's on fit. Uh, so let me put it on something small and then fit so you can see what it does. It just makes sure that the entire project fits within this preview area here. Now, what we need to do is add a rectangle shape to our preview area. So we're going to go to the top here. We're going to click rectangle tool. We're going to go to fill and make sure that this is set to none. And then you're going to go to stroke and choose any color, solid color. I'm going to click on the frame. I'm going to make it, let's make it like light blue. And then make sure the width is 30 pixels. And all you're going to do is in the center of the preview area, create a square or rectangular frame. So there's my frame. I'm going to move it around just a little bit, make sure it's center. I'll right click and transform and fit to center or center in view. Sorry, wrong one, transform. And where are we? What am I looking at here? Sensor in view. Yeah, sensor in view. It's already sensor. I already did it. Excellent. So here is our frame. Now that could already be a very basic webcam frame, but what we want to do is add some animation to it, add some movement and a glow. So we're going to click on the shape layer in our uh, sources list down here. So we're going to click shape layer one. In fact, I'm going to rename that to frame. We're going to click on frame. We're going to go to layer and go to layer styles. And I'm going to choose gradient overlay. Underneath frame in our list now, you'll see that we've got layer styles here. We're going to click gradient overlay and drop down that menu. And we're going to go to the colors line and click edit gradient. Now you can see here, we've got two colors in our gradient. We've got white and red. But for me, my gradients that I want are blue and yellow. So I'm going to select this first color stop here. I'm going to slide this up to blue and move over. You'll see that this changes up here. So I've got the blue and then I'm going to go to the second color stop. I'm going to slide this up to yellow and I'm going to slide the picker across to yellow. Now we've got blue to yellow. If I click OK, the color of the frame changes. So that was just clicking edit gradient and changing our colors inside here. Now, if I scroll along in our timeline here, you'll see that nothing happens to the frame in the four seconds of our project. What we want to do is we want that gradient to go in a circular motion and to move around. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that your little timeline marker here is set to the start of the timeline like this. You're going to go to the angle line and you're going to click the stopwatch button. You'll see that this adds a marker here. That's because this is where this pattern, this particular pattern, yellow at the top, blue at the bottom, is going to start. Then we're going to drag this timeline marker all the way to the end of our project. And you're going to increase the angle here to 1. And you'll see that that's going to put a keyframe at the end of the project just here. So we've got a keyframe at the start on zero. And you've got a keyframe at the end on one. And what that's telling us, or that, what that's telling the software, is that we want that gradient to do one whole rotation in four seconds. Now, if we go to the start of the clip and I press play, you can see that the colors are rotating around the frame 
and eventually just loop and loop and loop, which is fantastic. That's exactly what we want. Now, this would be a perfectly good enough gradient overlay frame, animated frame, to put into OBS Studio for a webcam. But I want a little bit more. I want a little bit of a glow on the webcam frame. Let's uh, make sure that there's no transparent background here. I'm just going to get rid of the transparency so we can see the glow effectively. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go toggle transparency. It is still a transparent project, but I don't want to see the transparency right now. We're going to drop that menu back, layer styles and contents. And what we're going to do is we're going to stop the playback. We're going to click on frame in the list and we're going to go control D and duplicate that frame. So now we've got frame two. I'm going to put frame two below frame and we're going to open it up and I'm going to make sure frame two is selected. Go to effect and Gaussian blur. So we're going to go to blur and sharpen on frame two. I'm going to go to Gaussian Blur. Under Gaussian Blur, you'll see the effects menu is now opened at the top left here. We're going to set the blurriness much, much higher to about 200. And you'll see on the preview area that the, the, the blur is also creating this glow effect, which is exactly what we want. I'm going to make it a little bit larger, maybe not 200, maybe like 115 or 120. That seems perfect. And now if I press play, not only is the frame gradient going around so is the gaussian blur the glow as well following it let me just watch it back make sure that it looks okay i think that looks fantastic very very simple a lot of people would use the layer styles to add a glow but that makes the whole process a little bit more complicated if we can just duplicate the original frame and add a blur i think it makes it way way easier and there we have it that is your webcam frame your animated frame now you could do this with any shape. You could do this with lines. You could do it with uh, borders that you want to put on the side or the top of your stream. Any particular overlay that you want to use on your stream and you want to add uh, animations and movement to, this is exactly the process you'd go through. Excellent software and super easy to create. Now, how do we export this so that I can use it in OBS Studio? I'm going to press the space bar so that this stops playback and I'm gonna add transparency back on. Then I'm gonna to go to File, Export, and Add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. This is a software that should have come with uh, your After Effects package. And it's basically a software that will encode this image and export it in a file format that we can use. The file format that we want to export it in is a WebM. WebM is the only transparent format or moving transparent format that OBS Studio will recognize and use. So we're going to export this as WebM. Now, because I've just opened up Media Encoder, it does take some time for the file to appear in the Media Encoder. So we're going to have to wait for it to appear in this menu here. But when it does, we're going to set the settings to WebM, transparent WebM. We're then going to go to OBS Studio, and we're going to host it as a media file here. So back to After Effects and Media Encoder Q. Here we go. Here is our file. I already have the preset of Transparent WebM because I've done this way too many times. But let me show you what the settings are for Transparent WebM. Let's open it up. Connecting to Dynamic Link Server. Obviously, we're going to need to put the file in a location where... We know where it is. Let me cancel that for now. Sometimes that glitches out a little bit. You have to click that a couple times. I'm just going to make sure we put this in. Uh, let me go and put it. I'm going to put it in music because we used music just a while ago. I'm just going to put it in music. Call it webcam frame. And we're going to try this again. Preset transparent webm. This should work this time and open up a menu for us. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to communicate with the Adobe servers. Here we go, dynamic link connection loading project. There we go, beautiful. So we're opening up this menu here to change our file settings. Format, WebM, preset, transparent WebM, but basically you can just copy the settings that I have here. Width, 1920 by 1080. I'm actually going to reduce this to 720 by 1280 because that's the source, match source material. If I press match source, it will, it will do that. 
anything else down here that you need to know? Not particularly. All you need, do need to do is go into this video tab, scroll down and click include alpha channel. If you don't click that, there will be no transparency on your frame. So that's very, very important. So you, you click format WebM, go to the video tab, click match source and go to include alpha channel. Make sure that's clicked. I'm then going to, I can click on the output name here to make sure it's going where I want it to go. At the moment, it's going to this PC music and it's going to be called webcam frame. Easy, save and okay. And then I'm going to press play. You'll see now that we've got an estimated render time, which is about two minutes and 20 seconds, uh, but it will normally render the first couple of seconds and then it will go much, much quicker. So you'll see that it's going to do up to about here and then it's going to go, Bing! there we go. Excellent. So the render time is normally less than it says. And we're done. That was quick. Let's go to OBS Studio. Let's go to add a source, media source, webcam frame. We're going to go to add. Obviously, we want it to loop, so I'm going to click loop. Go to browse, music, webcam frame. And there we have it. There is our homemade, beautiful, blue and yellow animated webcam frame. Now, my webcam doesn't quite fit, so I'm just going to have to play around with that video capture device just a little bit. Let's trim that in, move it to the right, and there we go. Beautiful. A gradient animated glowing webcam frame which looks awesome and now you could like i said you could do this with any overlay you wanted to after effects is an extremely powerful software but using it basically like this you can even create extremely effective beautiful looking overlays with just the simplest of tutorials on after effects i highly recommend picking it up and creating your very own overlay package